My name is H.J. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right now, especially because very few people are going to explain this from the vantage point of somebody on the left. Um, the Huffington Post called me the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet. So when all the people now you see, like, I love Bernie, I love Bernie, they, they, they were voting for Clinton or they were telling people to vote for Clinton. Anyway, thank God I'm a Trump supporter now because I've left that insane cult. Now Bernie Sanders is essentially defending Debbie Wasserman Schultz, but nobody can really explain this to you from the vantage point of somebody who used to be in the thick of things. I'm going to explain this to you. This is very important. The boxes, the ballot boxes that, that uh, Rick Scott had a 57,000 vote lead from, these ballot boxes, you know, little cardboard, big cardboard boxes. They're boxes. They're cardboard boxes. They're made of cardboard. They're cardboard boxes. Okay, they're not like, you know... Um, you know, hieroglyphics on them, and like, you know, you'll, you'll see them in the Louvre. They're like, you know, ancient, um, you know, uh, no. They're cardboard boxes that you could buy at Staples for like a dollar or 50 cents or whatever. This is the Sun Sentinel. This is a big thing now. Box left at Broward polling place didn't contain ballots, election official office says. This is one of the big reasons you can't trust the recounted Florida. Okay. Rick Scott had a 57,000 vote lead. He had a 57,000 vote lead. It's now down to 15,000. They suddenly found ballot boxes um, just, you know, in Broward County. Oh, my goodness. All these ballot boxes that have uh, leads for, oh, Lord, that have leads for, um, that have leads for votes for Nelson. The ballot boxes apparently double as storage boxes for pens and see this is all above board this is above board this is just normal the the boxes that hold the votes that will tell you who is the next u.s senator see this is american democracy they double as boxes that are used for pens signs staplers um office equipment. So displayed one of the boxes to show how the ballot-free boxes then double as a place to store an inventory of items such as vote here signs, pens, envelopes, extension cords, or election manuals. Why is this important? Why is this absolutely insane? When they stuff the, these cardboard boxes full of votes, they then remove them and put them in these, like, zippered bags. Number one, why are they removing them? Number two, why don't they just use the, why don't they just transport the actual boxes and you save one step to where the, actual, the ballots or the votes can be manipulated, um, counted in a um, deceitful manner? So there's one extra step added to the ballot boxes. People in Broward... And in Florida, take the votes out of these ballot boxes, and then the ballot boxes are used to store office equipment. That's what we're told, because these are very important boxes. Because of global warming, we don't want to, uh, they're, you know, they're biodegradable, or we just, we, what do, they didn't want to um, recycle the boxes. They didn't want to kill trees. Who knows? I'm, I'm going to get to the point if you haven't already understood what I'm getting at. Box left at Broward polling place didn't contain ballots, election official says. There are important gray boxes seen at polling sites, containers that are used to store people's votes. Poll workers later remove the ballots and leave the boxes at polling sites for pickup. <laughs> why, why would they remove the ballots from the boxes? Poll workers later remove on Thursday, two days after election day. Teacher Lakeisha Sori spotted one of these boxes at Sunshine Elementary School in Miramar and worried ballots might still be inside. But that's not the case, a Broward County election official says. Why would you not store? Why would you just not keep the ballots and the votes in the boxes and then count them from there? Why would you take the inefficient and very likely fraudulent step 
of <laughs> then removing these votes, putting them in a Ziploc baggie or whatever, and then using the same boxes that people naturally confuse as ballot boxes to store pens and office equipment. On Thursday, two days after Election Day, teacher Lakeisha Sar- okay, uh, spotted one of these boxes at Sunshine Elementary School in Miramar and worried ballots might still be inside. Just like other boxes, this container in question held supplies, not ballots, says uh, Dozel Spencer, Broward's Director of Voting Equipment Center Operations. Speaking to reporters Thursday night, Spencer said these boxes are used to hold provisional ballots, and when polls close, the ballots are transferred to a zippered bag. <laughs> Why would they be transferred to a zippered bag and taken to election warehouse in Lauderhill? You are removing evidence evidence of of of, of votes. Uh, you know, you, you're removing people's votes from ballot boxes, putting them into zippered bags. We have no clue which zippered bags came from where. Spencer displayed one of the boxes to show that to show how the ballot free boxes then double as a place to store an inventory of items such as vote here signs, pens, envelopes, extension cords and election manuals. The remain the, the, they remain at polling sites with the election machine and other equipment until they're picked up by Broward election officials. We pick up all our supplies, Spencer said. It takes 8 days to deliver everything to polling sites. Why would it take Eight days. There's no way I could pick up everything in two days. Why would you have to pick up empty ballot boxes that were meant to store actual votes? They took a photo of a large gray bin with a slot on top uh, and a paper uh, and a paper affixed to its side that read "Provisional Ballot Box." All such ballot all such boxes have a sign on one side and a sign on the other that reads supply box. Rick Nelson's votes are being stored in cardboard boxes that double as both ballot boxes and office equipment supply boxes. Okay, to remedy this dual usage since there's a shortage of um, of cardboard of cardboard. They remove votes from the ballot boxes, and Lord knows what happens to them. They're put in Ziploc baggies, and we have no idea where they go. But they're counted by really, really honest people. Really honest people who work for Debbie Wasserman or who like Debbie Wasserman Schultz and who love Bill Nelson and hate Rick Scott. And if you think that's hyperbole, um, look what they did to Tim Canova. A judge already, uh, already ruled that Broward County had illegally destroyed ballots after they were subject in a lawsuit. They were the subject of a lawsuit. So they had already known that ballots shouldn't have been destroyed in the Tim Canova lawsuit in 2017 when he was cheated by Debbie Wasserman Schultz after she cheated Bernie in 2016. And they still destroyed ballots illegally. So, seeking help, sorry, to phone a friend, state representative, okay, a close confidant of uh, Andrew Gillum. Okay, so it concerned Jones, too, given that Florida is heading towards multiple recounts. Oh, so now the Democrats are concerned about this, even though it's Broward County. Um, that sided with Debbie Wasserman Schultz and all Democrats. Several races could be decided by narrow margins, including the Senate race between Governor Rick Scott and incumbent Bill Nelson, who, by the way, how are, how are these narrow margins? He was up 57,000 votes on Election Day. Now he's, he's, he's only up 15,000. McSally was up 15,000 votes. Now suddenly she's down 22,000. How, how is it that after, uh, post-election vote counts always favor Democrats? That's bizarre. I'm hoping someone will at least go verify and make sure there are no ballots inside the box. So not only do you have, not only do you have Broward County box, uh, ballot boxes just lying around, just all over the place, 
the response is that, well, if you don't see any ballots in there, well, if you see ballots in there, big problem. <laughs> but if you don't see ballots in there, it's just normal. And they store, um, they're just storing pens and, and stuff. Give me your thoughts below. If you don't understand what I just said, neither do I. The article is below. Broward County utilizes ballot boxes as as also boxes to store office equipment. So there are now these boxes, ballot boxes, all throughout the city. <laughs> and people are calling in saying, <laughs> uh, we have a ballot box here. And Broward County election officials are saying, well, no problem. It's just, you know, office equipment. We've actually removed the ballots and put them in Ziploc baggies that nobody can see. But trust us, we're counting. Uh, we're counting votes fair and square. And oh, by the way, um, Rick Nelson's, uh, Rick Scott's lead went from 57,000 to um, 15,000 from our uh, Ziploc baggie um, transported votes from the dual boxes that serve as both um, office equipment uh, storage supply centers and um, United States election uh, ballot boxes. Hit subscribe right now. Thank you so much for listening.